Yeah, let's talk about crying. Let's go back to crying. Sorry, I, yeah. I got off this subject. No, no. And I think crying is interesting because, first of all, personally, I tear up a lot. I find it somewhat embarrassing. I've done a lot of thinking and research about it. I, I even tear up sometimes when I'm teaching and I worry that it undermines my authority. But I did just read my students' reviews of the course which I was even a little more teary during COVID because I just pick up on what my students are feeling. There are a lot of struggles going on and they tell me what's going on. And what I teach about also, I, I have students who are gay and tell me they tried to come out to their parents and they were rejected or they're, you know, I, I know a lot about their personal stories and it relates to the science. It's that's what the science is about. And so mm. anyway, that's, so I do get teary, but, um, and sometimes it's embarrassing. And there are plenty of men who, like maybe Jordan Peterson, who are also very emotional and comfortable expressing their emotions. So it's not that men don't do this and women do. And there are cultural differences in the expression of what we can call vulnerable emotions. So the displaying publicly of vulnerability, you can think about from an evolutionary point of view, might not make as much sense for men who want to show strength and aggressiveness and competitiveness. If you're showing vulnerability, you might be saying, hey, you can beat me in a brawl here, come at me. So, um, so that's just one sort of evolutionary perspective on the sex difference. But also, so there is a large sex difference in crying and fear, and, but I'll, I'll just focus some on crying. Trans, yeah. Some transgender people yeah, yeah. that I've known, uh, I mean, it was quite striking. Uh, someone I talked to said that they, 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 they stopped crying. Yes. <laughs> they, they used so, to cry a lot and they, they weren't. Now, that's strange. That isn't is amazing. That's totally consistent with the literature. It the All the transgender people I, I spoke to, um, male to female, female to male, and a female to male to female detransitioner. And I asked them all about crying, and they all said that uh, either taking or blocking testosterone completely changed their ability to access their uh, emotions, the way they, the range of emotions that they experience, and particularly crying. Uh, what, so, um, one person I talked to said that before. Um, this is the detransitioner. So she started as female. She used to cry a few times a week. She took testosterone and cried once or twice a year and said she could, uh, she felt, how did she describe it? That her emotions were blunted. She was in touch with anger, but uh, not her other emotions in the way that she had before. She didn't feel the same range of emotions. And then when she went back off of testosterone, she described feeling the pleasure of experiencing her emotions again and even the highs and the lows so that kind of evidence to me that's consistent with the scientific literature on testosterone and crying and on sex differences in crying and it is profound and powerful and it changed the way that i relate i have to say to my husband oddly who i had always been trying to get to be more emotional and expressive and for whatever reason interviewing these trans people and really getting into literature, I just had a new take on it, which was, you know what? He's great. He's fine. I'm the way I am. He's the way he is. And I was attracted to him because he is so sort of like my rock, you know, and, um, and I need that. And, and maybe sometimes I'm frustrated that he can't express more, but I know that that was why I was attracted to him in the first place. I'm not saying this is how it is for all women or that anyone everyone else should be like this. But I think I had drunk the Kool-Aid or something and assumed that I had it right as a woman. I knew, I know emotions. Men are supposed to be more like us. You guys are getting it wrong. Um, mm. But I don't really believe that anymore. 